Hi, welcome back to the user authentication video series of tutorial and the last videos I have created a uh, Laravel application and installed Vue.js inside and then <coughs> uh, installed JWT and installed Vue router and created some routes like register, login and dashboard so in this video I will install Vuex and Vue.js for the state management okay let's start uh, in the last video I have installed uh, Vue.js route and created some uh, routes if I go to the um, resources GS routes I have here login register dashboard if you don't make any changes and the route web.view when you type something in your browser so for example login then uh, this route will not be found because it does not exist in this list in this route web.php okay what I have done I have wrote here that any route can here just return view component so it will not complain that route your route does not exist okay okay I forgot to tell this part in the last video what we do now we go to package.json there is two packages Vuex and Vuex uh, persistent state we need to install these two uh, packages for the state management uh, in our in our uh, Vue.js okay so the current version may be higher than 362 Vue X 362 but for me because I use Vue 2 uh, uh, this version as the working version and also Vue X persistent state uh, Vue JS store or state is only a variable so if we refresh the page then our token will be gone so we, 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 we will be locked out at that time what we need we need to store our token in local storage by Vuex persistent state okay uh, after you have added this to npm install okay and then what we going to do going to the resource inside GS we create a new directory name it store inside this directory we create index.js and another file odd.js and the third file is subscribe.js okay in the index what we write inside index.js we first import view uh, from what the hell is this and then we import view x from view x we import uh, this odd file as well inside this Hello. 
import odd and also import this um, import the mm, create per persistence persis state state from what from the view persis persis state state view dot use view x okay and then we export default new view x dot store inside the store we have uh, four important sections the first one is the state the second one is uh, gators the third one is mutations we have actions and we have uh, modules okay uh, we could do everything uh, here inside uh, index.js but I want it to be more clear and clean so I wrote the logic in different file in odd and subscriber okay I just wanted to keep it clean we imported our odd and we just need to put inside the module here so actually index.js act as a, a, a road of our store you may create multiple store multiple stores in in your application you just need to uh, uh, register that here for example you create a share a shared uh, store or a, a user store you just need to uh, register here in index.js and create that your store in new file like in, like odd.js okay uh, for the persistent we uh, imported persistent state uh, persisted state here we need to use it here as a plugin our plugin uh accept an array which we write create persisted state and this is a function persist persistate i can't pronounce correctly create persisted state and the storage will be uh, window dot local storage Okay, the path is I'm leaving this empty for now. We may need that in the future. Okay, uh, this is all about index.js. Let me go to the odd.js file that we write here. We first import. Uh, axis from axis and then we export default 
We write namespace uh, namespace true and state as we have a uh, gators and we have a uh, mutations. We have actions. Okay, what we going to store for our user? There are two things: token and uh, user. Inside the getter, we have a, a method name name it authenticate which has a state as a parameter and then we return state dot token and state dot user another function or method we have user which has a state in the parameter and then we return only what state dot user okay inside mutation what we have we have to write a function set token which accept two parameters state and a variable token what we do we initialize the state dot token is equal to token okay we have another function set user accept the same thing state and uh, data we initialize state dot user is equal to data inside the actions we we write async function sign and and this signing has a this patch and a credentials create this function signing will be called from the login uh, the phone let response is equal to await x use dot post the path login okay and I pass the credentials then return dispatch I pass a callback function a uh, attempt with us with the data response dot data okay, and then we define our uh, attempt function a sync attempt and accept a commit and state and the token we get from the sign in function then here we check if token exists we commit the set token with this token okay if the state 
the token is false there is no data then re return only okay then after uh, after we check the state is empty okay once we uh, send a request to the server for for a token we uh, we store this token uh, here then what we need we need to send another request get user uh, user data like username email or it can be anything a header will be uh, will be added by by the subscriber first we check if the state is empty we just return if it is not empty what we do we send another request response is equal to await axis dot get the route name will be me only then we commit this response to the set user mutation here okay response dot data okay this is try and we write a catch here if anything happen we just uh, commit now to to but set token sorry to the set token and commit set user okay and this is sign in in attempt and the third function we write is uh, sign out sign out function okay we have a commit here and as this parameter and then we just return request axios dot dot post the uh, log out we check that api log out after we get log out we need to clear the uh, state by committing set user to null and commit set token null I think we are done with this file I hope I didn't make any mistake inside the subscriber we we just uh, there is no more work just import or restore from uh, from we store we just go back out of this folder and then st store we import or restore like this we just import axios also from axios and then we need to uh, subscribe to our store 
store dot subscribe it has subscribe has a parameter mutation mu this is a callback function uh, mute, uh, we need to check the mutation type okay we just write switch statement we check mutation dot type uh, f uh, odd set token if the mutation type is set token what we do we again check mutation uh, mutation payload if the mutation payload exists we 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 add our header axios dot default dot headers dot common and we write a authorization is equal to is equal to barrier mutation dot payload then we say local storage local storage dot set item the this package view x persistent state i actually i do need in this in this package in this tutorial in the future uh, we may need that this we may uh, we may use this package okay here I directly I store in locally store dot set item okay if you want to use that package and your project I will just show I I, I already wrote here I add it as a plugin here in the and as create persistent state in this uh, we we don't actually we don't need this package in this uh, tutorial okay in the subscriber locally story dot set item I set token uh, mutation dot payload if the mutation dot payload does not exist what we do we set the header axios dot defaults dot sorry dot headers dot common uh, what is this just brick okay okay subscriber is also done uh, I think we all then what we need we need to register our store and the uh, app the GS here okay require store subscriber and import store from store okay just add it here also and we need to wrap this all in store dot dispatch odd 
slash attempt and then local storage dot get items token and then here okay then go to the to uh, auth login here and instead of sending directly request to the to the api what we do we need import map map uh, actions yeah map actions from axios and then we just write map map actions and we have a sign in As a parameter of map actions, we uh, we have uh, we define an object sign in, uh, which is mapped to this auth uh, sign in auth uh, store or store name is auth here auth and the uh, and the action is sign in and the login after we added map action now what we can do inside this submit we just write this dot sign in and we just pass this dot form into the sign in after we have then redirect to the dashboard here okay Here we might have a catch block. We don't need this anymore. Okay. The dashboard, once we logged in, we got the user data by sending a request to me inside this user um, this variable user will store our user name email and in the dashboard that we write here we just need to import map map uh, gators yes map gators and here we have a compute date inside computed we have to write map gators this map gators yes we write uh, authenticated authenticate it odd store and all then decay date action okay we have a user inside the odd user action no we have our information, user information, and this uh, variable, user variable. We can write here user.name and user.email. Okay. For the uh, logout we have inside, inside home, we have a logout function, I think. Yeah logout we just import our map action again Ma import map actions and here 
should be inside this uh, we just call this dot sign out that's it I hope I didn't make any mistake let me check mm. clear the token first Let me fresh the database PHP or this my great refresh. Okay, let me register a user Zia and Zia at gmail.com. Password is one, two, three, one, two, three. Register. Okay, register successfully. And then if I log in as zeo at gmail.com password is one two three ah, I'm logged in the user name and the email here is a dashboard we need to wrap it with double curly brace Let me check logout. Mm -hmm. Type error cannot read properties of name that the dashboard. Something here. Okay, let me log in again. Okay, dashboard, you are not logged and the method authenticate is not defined. okay so I am logged in if I get log out you are not logged in let me check if I refresh again mm, there is something wrong application no my token is still here clear You are not logged in. If I log in, Z I A at gmail.com password is one two three. I'm logged in. If I refresh, I'm still logged in. If I log out, you are logged. You are not logged in. If I refresh, oh, still I have. I think I have token here it's not remove this function log out and set user set token not log locally storage dot remove item token let me check if it if it can remove Log out. Okay. Log in again. Yeah. One, two, three. I have token if I log out. Mm, I don't have token now. Yeah, you're not logged in. Mm, I don't know why it's not working. So if you get this why it's not working, please comment that. I will be very happy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and
I will make more videos and tutorials. Thank you. Bye.